Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the brilliant zones. So, brilliant zones basically are the allowed regions. These are enclosed between the boundaries as specified by the k values at which energy versus k curve. So, we have seen energy versus k curve which shows discontinuity. That is at k is equal to plus minus n pi by a, our energy versus k curve shows discontinuities. So, the allowed regions which are enclosed between those boundaries, they are called brilliant zones. These basically represent the allowed energies in terms of the k space or the momentum space. We have seen that p, momentum of the particle is h cross k. So, this k represent the allowed regions it means we will get the allowed values of momentum for the particle or in turn the allowed energies for the particle in terms of k values through these brilliant zones so let us see the brilliant zones in one dimension and two dimension that is the allowed regions in one dimensions and two dimension in terms of the k vector so in one dimension brilliant zones are given by this value k is equal to plus minus n pi by a shown on a line because we are talking about 1D. So, n is equal to 1. If you put n is equal to 1 in this equation, we will get k is equal to plus minus pi by a. And for n is equal to 2 means second allowed band, we will get k is equal to plus minus 2 pi by a, which represent the zone boundaries. Boundaries at which there will be the forbidden range of energies. So, if we plot these brilliant zones, on, on a line or in 1D. So, let us see. This is, this represent the K values ranging from, ranging in terms of pi by A, 2 pi by A, 3 pi by A and so on. Similarly, on the negative side also. So, for N is equal to 1, that is for first allowed band, the boundaries are at plus minus pi by A. It means this plus minus plus pi by A and minus pi by A represent the zone boundaries. So, region enclosed between the values plus minus pi by a, it represents the first allowed band or the first brilliant zone. So, in terms of 1D, this is a line segment. So, if we talk about the line segment, this line segment is AB. So, line segment AB represents the first allowed band. Now, if we see for second allowed band, the boundaries appear at plus minus 2 pi by a. So, plus minus 2 pi by a at these values, there are boundaries. So, see. It means the line segment enclosed between plus minus 2 pi by a except the line segment at which first allowed band appears, it represents the second allowed band. So, second allowed band that is second brilliant zone, it is from C to A, then beyond this A up to B, this is the first allowed band and then again B to D, this represents another segment for the second allowed band. So, for second allowed band or second brilliant zone, we have two line segments. One is this AC, AC and other is this BD. So, second brilliant zone, it consists of two line segments, AC, CA and BD, which represent the second brilliant zone. Similarly, for n is equal to 3, we can draw the third brilliant zone and so on. So, only the first brilliant zone is a line segment, is a line segment, second brilliant zone, third brilliant zone, fourth and so on. These There are two line segments for each brilliant zone. So, now we will discuss brilliant zones for 2D, 2D lattice. It means our lattice is a two-dimensional two lattice. So, let us see what will be the shape of brilliant zones for a 2D lattice. Okay, let, now let's discuss brilliant zones for two dimension. For 2D, the two dimensional lattice, the boundaries of allowed zones are given by the equation N1KX plus N2KY is equal to N1 square plus N2 square pi by A. Where N1 and N2, these represent quantum numbers of the state of a particle. Now let us discuss the first brilliant zone. For first brilliant zone, N1 is plus minus 1 and n2 is 0 or this can be n1 is equal to 0 or n2 is equal to plus minus 1 so that this resultant number this becomes pi by a. 
So if we put these two values in the equation, we get kx is equal to plus minus pi by a from this. We get kx is equal to plus minus pi by a. And if we put n1 is equal to 0 and n2 is equal to 1 in this equation, we get ky is equal to plus minus pi by a. This kx is equal to plus minus pi by a and ky is equal to plus minus pi by a. It shows the four straight lines passing through the axis which are parallel to the another axis. So let's see. If we see this square in red, this is kx is equal to plus pi by a. This is ky is equal to plus pi by a. This is ky is equal to minus pi by a. And this line shows kx is equal to my uh, ky is equal to minus pi by a. So region enclosed between all these. This region. The region enclosed between all these four lines, it represents first brilliant zone. So we can see that for a 2D lattice, the first brilliant zone, shape of the first brilliant zone is a square. So this is first brilliant zone. Now let's say for second brilliant zone, for second brilliant zone, both N1 and N2, these two are plus minus 1. So if we put plus minus 1 here in the equation 1, we get this value, plus minus kx plus minus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. So from this we get the four equations which represent four lines. One is kx plus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. Other is kx minus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. Third is minus kx plus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. And fourth is minus kx minus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. So these four equations represent the four lines which are inclined at 45 degree to the axis making intercept 2 pi by a. So if we see on this curve this line which is inclined at 45 degree to both the axis and making intercept 2 pi by a along the two axis this is kx plus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. Similarly this line passing through 2 pi by a, 2 minus 2 pi by a, this is minus kx plus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. This third line is minus kx minus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. And fourth line, this is plus kx minus ky is equal to 2 pi by a. So the region enclosed between these four lines, except the region which is enclosed in the first Boolean zone, this represents the second brilliant zone. So for second brilliant zone, we can see that there are four regions enclosed between minus pi by a to plus 2 pi by a. These four regions represent the second brilliant zone. So for first brilliant zone, we have one region in form of a square. For second brilliant zone, we have four regions. 1, 2, 3, 4, enclosed in a square except the square which is for first brilliant zone. So we have four regions in form of the triangle. So second brilliant zone are triangular in shape. First brilliant zone is square in shape. Similarly, we can draw for third brilliant zone, fourth brilliant, fourth brilliant zone and so on for a 2D lattice. Similarly, for 3D, that is for a three dimensional lattice. The brilliant zones, they are given by the equation N1 kx plus N2 ky plus N3 kz is equal to N1 square plus N2 square plus N3 square into pi by. So choosing the values of N1, N2 and N3, we can draw the first brilliant zone, second brilliant zone and third brilliant zone, etc. for a 3D lattice. Too. So in all, we have seen that brilliant zones basically are the allowed range of allowed values of k values or k vectors which represent the allowed energy values basically. So these represent the allowed zones in which a particle can lie in either a 1D lattice or a 2D lattice or a 3D lattice. So this is all about the brilliant zone. I hope you understood the concept well. Please like this video, 
and share with your peer groups also subscribe to my channel this will give me a motivation for making such videos keep learning physics with dr kavita sigwal thank you